Hi guys, it's me Karen. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to do a picture in Symphony of Cute Animals and I picked out, of course, the cute little frog picture. <laughs> now I do know I told you that the first page I was going to do was up front and I did do it, but I did not film this. I've been um, working on my uh, redo of my desk so I took my whole desk apart and rebuilt a desk and a shelf unit in here and um, <laughs> I was coloring that as a test to figure out how my microphone and all this is going to work now that I have a new desk in here. I will do a video on the new desk on Thursday. Today I just wanted to get some coloring in and this little frog is just staring at me going, hello, I need to be colored. So I'm going to do him. What I'm going to do is do it in watercolor uh, pencils, the um, Albert Dewar color pencils, and I'm going to put down a base layer on him uh, first and I'll get the camera set up for that. Hold on. All right, we'll see how this works. I hope he's in frame here. Um, one of the pencils I'm going to use is olive green yellowish and that's 173 and like I said it's the Albrecht Dürer <laughs> try to put a German accent on that right uh, pencil I'm going to do it two ways I'm going to maybe color a little and then put it on a plastic sheet now that plastic sheet has got a little bit of a pink here and I believe this was from a different um, coloring I did in the front of the book so I'll have to remember what color those are but I'm going to use that for his like chin area. Uh, you just color on this. This is a cutting board from the Dollar Tree. It's for cutting your vegetables on. It has a smooth surface, the shiny side, and then the rough surface here where the pencils glide on really nicely and all the pigment stays here, and a water brush just to pick it up and use it like you're using a palette. The water brush I'm using is a Pentel water brush and this is a small size. It's a really nice little tip on that. You just fill these up with water, give it a tiny little squeeze, do yourself a favor and hold it down here while you're coloring. Uh, this is harder to squeeze than this is really easy so you color, uh, paint with your fingers down here. Just give it a little squeeze if you need water. And you don't really, they flow really nice. So, boom. Get a little color on them here first. But I think I want to do most of it from the palette. I haven't used these very often either, but it's easier for me to do it from the palette. But I thought, well, we'll try it both ways. Always fun, huh? There we go. It is just pouring outside today. Lovely weather. At least the weather guy was right. 100% chance rain today. <laughs> it definitely is doing that. Okay, we'll see what that does. And the water, activate that up. Okay, that's pretty good. Now I'm just going to, um, I've scribbled some of this color down on this sheet right in this area here. But 
I'll scribble it again. <laughs> We're going to take some of that green and mix it in here with some of this pink. And we're going to bring that in down in this area here. a little more green in there, I think. Boom. Do we have any green froggy parts? anywhere else showing. It's got a finger down here, so. I think a little wrist right there. <laughs> the rest of him is clothed. Pretty sure he's all closed. I, I don't see a hand over here. And He's got a coat on, so his pants, socks, shoes, we're fine. It should be the only green part we have. I will darken him up a little bit with um, the polychromo pencils, so we will be playing around with those also. There we go. All right. We'll do his little... Uh, Ascot here. What color should we do that? Oh boy. Blue? I don't know. I'm trying to find a color would be easiest to grab. <laughs> well, Dark India Go is really dark. It's almost black in this set. And I can't pronounce that one. <laughs> I'm just trying to find one. Um, here we go. Delft Blue. D-E-L-F-T-B-L-U-E -E number 141. And we'll put that in. It's kind of a purpley blue. Remember, this doesn't have to be perfect. In fact, the less you play with it, the better. We are going to go over it 
with pencil, so. Yeah, I keep saying that as I play with it more. <laughs> do as I say, not as I do. Okay, there we go. Purple. I should probably make the bow purple too. I don't know, I'll wait on the bow. <laughs> his hat. How about his shoes? Yeah, we'll do his shoes. Purple shoes. <laughs> there we go. Okay, let's see. That should probably be black. Top hat. And a black jacket. I'm not sure. But the hat is going to be a nice dark color. Okay, I'm going to have to turn this book, so I'm going to try to keep it in frame here. I need to get the angle right on the painting part. So... Get a washcloth instead of my finger. <laughs> I think I moved those into the other room. It's really interesting. I go, I think I need a new desk, and then you spend weeks. I, <laughs> I think it's been a week and a half putting um, not only the desk together. But you had to tear apart the old one. Well, I did. So you take it apart. Then you have to store the pieces somewhere. Because I was going to take apart one desk and then use parts of it to make the new desk. Save myself some money. <laughs> so I took the old desk apart. And used the legs to build the new desk on. There we go. Okay, we got a black hat. Uh, again, I said I'm going to go over it with uh, polychromos so these darker places will get darker. 
and such. Okay, um, I've got to decide if I want him to have black pants or a black coat. Okay, could do that blue jacket. Well, sorry, <laughs> phone's got to make an or er, phone. It's my watch. Um, so blue jacket or blue pants or maybe we'll give him blue pants. Then we'll see what we need to do for the jacket. Um, did I bring out a blue? I didn't bring out a blue. Do, 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 do. Why don't we go with the indigo? It's kind of a blue and a black. So dark indigo. 157. And we're going to do his pants in that. Find out how far up his pants go. At least there. I think that's part of the back of the jacket. looks silly if I don't put it over here. <laughs> so there. Okay. Okay, pants. And then we have socks. They should probably be a creamy color. But we may mix that cream with some blue. He may want some blue socks to go with his blue pants. I have no idea. <laughs> I'm going to put it on the plastic sheet here somewhere. And this is Ivory 103. And we're going to throw in some light phalo blue next to that on the plastic sheet. We're going to mix those two colors together to get a really light, light blue color.
I don't know if that should be a blue or a sock cuff. We'll throw some blue on there. And then we have to throw some wrinkles in here. Boom. Do the inside of the daisies. I'm pretty sure they're daisies, maybe. Um, this one is Naples yellow. Let that in there. And then kind of an orangey color, dark chrome yellow. we do I should do his jacket I just don't know what color I want his jacket yet uh, um, yeah okay we'll do the coat in browns so I have two here we have nougat which is 178 and green gold just because I like that color a lot two six Eight. So we'll go with the nougat first. going to have to do it darker inside the coat. Is that going to be a petal or a part of the coat? Same over here. <laughs> okay, we're going to see how far that goes. Start at the bottom here.
nice start. <laughs> it's okay if it gets in the leaves here. It's not going to bother me. I don't know what that part's supposed to be. And then the bottom half here, we're going to have to um, mix a little black in that. Because we're behind it, it's going to be a shadow. So I'm going to do it on the um, plastic sheet. So we'll put the nougat down and then we'll put black next to it and then we'll blend them together. And make a nice uh, no color. It's a darker color. I'm going to use some of this up here, I think, to darken that coat up a little. not talking, playing. <laughs> Should really tell you what I'm doing. I'm just putting the dark up in the shadow areas where the shadows should be underneath. I don't want to play too much with it because we're going to go over it with pencil, but since I'm sitting here, just thought it would be fun. Put some folds in the fabric too. We're going to just let this dry now. Let's 
see what I end up with. It always changes when it dries, so I'll be back in a bit. Okay, well I have um, some of this color I thought still left here. We're going to put some of this uh, ivory down, like right there. <laughs> We're going to throw a little bit of the... Um, what was it? The nougat in here, right next to it. And I'm going to do the petals, kind of in an ivory with the brown. So that'll give us our shadow area. I'm just going to go around and add that to all the petals. cover up any of the brown I got in here from the coat. And help with the shading when I'm coloring them later. Okay. Now since he's purple and blue, the background here is going to be a brighter blue inside the uh, diamond shape. And then this area, I'm not sure what color I'm going to do. Probably a brown. The shamrocky areas here are going to be green, darker than he is. So green, blue, tan, and purple. I'm trying to think of the um, bow here. It could be a red color to match his little chin. So we'll bring in red violet kind of have the purple tones of the other I'm pretty sure that's what this one is here but we're going to put some of that on here to undo the ribbon with
being quiet again, sorry. Trying to make sure I get the bows and not the flower. Okay, now the back bow. I think that's all the bow. Let's see. What do the um, shamrock area thingy? One of the flowers. Let me see what kind of pencils I have. Okay, I think I'll do this here in the red too, adding more red to the page. So I'll just real quickly add that color in. She says real quickly. Huh. It's not going to be real quick. It's just going to be a, a light coat of it though. So I'm going to go over it in pencil. So I added a little more water to it. Blend it out of the coat. <laughs> and I'm sorry, I have to turn here so I can see. I'll get the angle right for this so I don't mess it all up. A little darker here. Turn it again. <laughs> Sorry. Pull it down that way. And one more turn. go. And uh, yeah, I didn't get the pencils out for the shamrocks. Wish they had just a color shamrock. <laughs> See what color that is. That one and maybe this one is a little darker. Those look pretty good. <laughs> That's how I pick my colors today. I have pine green and uh, chromium green opaque. The lighter of the two. Probably should have a bright one for the center. But we're just um, laying down some color here so just stick them down here and wiggle them around. Then we'll pick up some of this color and do the outside here. Okay, I hope you can see this one. And just bring it down light. Can you see that? So I just picked it up 
put it on the outside. And did that. You can always wipe it up like that too to get it off the page if it looks a little too bright or you don't like the color. So I'm going to do all those that way. And it's okay that I'm going lighter. I'm putting the pencil on top of it. And it's always better to go lighter than it is to get too much color on it and try to take it away. So there, I'll get done like that, and then we'll come back after they've all dried. See you in a bit. Okay, guys, um, I'm going to go ahead and call it for the first part of the video. All I'm going to be doing in the second part is taking polychromos and kind of going over the areas, kind of like this, and adding in a little more color, and if there's any um, portions that didn't get covered with the watercolor I'm going to be touching that up. So that'll be all over all of the page. <laughs> we will, that's going to be in part two. We'll also do the uh, inside of here with the distress ink. Maybe a little bit out here I'm not sure. Of course we have to give him his face, his eyes expression, and maybe a couple little bumps on the outside. And like I said cover it all up with, I mean not cover it all up, <laughs> continue coloring it with the polychromos. So I hope you enjoyed seeing how it is watercolor based and then we will come back and do the rest of it. I hope you all have a great day and I uh, will see you in the next one. Take care everyone. Bye now.